Good morning, my sweet friends. How are we doing today? I hope that you all had a fantastic week. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Miss Jackie and I am here to tell you all a fantastic story. So today we are going to be looking at Daniel chapter one. And let me take a moment to talk about some of our characters. So if you remember the last two weeks, so two weeks ago and then last week, we talked about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, I'm going to talk about all five of those characters today because they all started their story at the same time. All right, so our story today is going to start with King Nebuchadnezzar. And King Nebuchadnezzar, as we, if we remember correctly, he's the king of Babylon, and he takes over Jerusalem. And so... Shortly after he takes over Jerusalem, he sends his chief of officials, his head of all of his important people. He says, go out and find the best of the best. The boys who are the smartest, the best looking, the strongest, and bring them back to me. So his chief of officials does this. He goes out and gathers all of the boys and men who are the smartest, the best looking, the strongest, and brings them back and they start training. They start training to take over positions in the kingdom. And while they're doing this, the king offers him or offers them um, food from his table, wine from his vineyard. He offers them all of these things that the king gets to enjoy too because they're now considered royalty. So the there are four guys that we've already met in this group of guys. And there's Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel. And Daniel decided that he didn't want to lower his standards to please the king. He decided that he didn't want to eat the king's food or drink the king's wine because it wasn't pure. It wasn't what he felt was right. So he talked to one of the guards. He said, he said, guard, please grant me permission to not lower my standards. He said, I um, I don't want to lower my standards to please the king. And the guard sympathized with Daniel. He said, you know, I wish that I could let you, but if the king sees that you look thinner than the other guys that are here that are eating the food and drinking the wine, my life will be put in danger. And so Daniel had a really good idea. He thought of something. Daniel thought of the great idea for a competition. He said, give me and my friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, 10 days. He said, 10 days, let us eat vegetables and water to drink. And then you can examine our appearance and the appearance of the young men who are eating the king's food. And the king agreed. He said, I'll give you 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego looked stronger and healthier than the young men who were eating the king's food. So the guard continued to remove their food and their wine, and they drank water and were given vegetables. So after these 10 days passed, and Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego looked stronger and healthier, they also turned out to be smarter. They're given the knowledge and wisdom from God to understand all of the literature and languages that are presented in front of them. And Daniel is even blessed with the skill to interpret and read dreams. And so after their three years of training and three years of learning all of these things, they're brought in front of the king and the king interviews them. And the king finds out that Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel are 10 times smarter and 10 times more impressive to him than the men that were brought in with them. Now, because they were 10 times smarter and 10 times more likely to know the answers to questions and have solutions to problems, the king kept them in his court. And that, my friends, is where our story today ends, but... That lead, it's going to lead into our story for next week, which is going to be Daniel chapter 2. And we're going to talk about King Nebuchadnezzar and the dream that he had. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and 
close our Bibles and I want to talk, talk to you guys about some of the things that we learned today. So not only did we learn that it is important to drink our drink water and eat our vegetables, we learned that it is important to maintain integrity. And that just means don't lower your standards because everybody else is. Make sure that you follow the things that you know are right. All right, so with that being said, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today and thank you so much for this week. Um, God, I thank you for every single person listening right now um, and watching the Bible story that I gave today. Um, God, I pray that you continue to remind every single person listening um, not to lower their standards and not to lower their integrity um, just because it seems like the easy thing to do. Um, God, I pray that you remind every single person that you are there to take care of them, not only during rough and trying times, but also during um, celebratory times and good times. Um, God, thank you so much for every single person listening. I pray that you bless every single person's week. Um, in your name we pray. Amen.